guys so today I have a first impression and demo review for a foundation for you guys you guys know that I love to make these videos these are some of my favorite videos to make and I was so excited to try this particular foundation out this is the Anastasia stick foundation they just came out with this last Thursday I believe Thursday or Friday I think it was Thursday um, so I was so excited to order this I ordered it immediately um, on their website I was just really intrigued because their products are so good all of their products that they come out with are so good and if you guys watch Norvina snapchats um, or you follow her on Twitter or Instagram you guys know that she is so hands-on with everything and she is such a perfectionist but I feel like she works on her products so much and so hard that they're bound to be good so I was so excited to see that they were coming out with a foundation like oh, I just could not wait to try it because as you guys know I'm obsessed with their brow products and pretty much everything of theirs so I also quickly wanted to show you guys what the packaging actually looks like um, on the product because I realized I did not really show it uh, in detail in the video so this is what the foundation looks like it's just a really pretty black uh, like tube with really pretty rose gold detailing it says Anastasia Beverly Hills it has their little logo on it and then on the bottom of course it says the shade and when you open it up it has that really nice rose gold look and then the foundation of course rolls up like that so um, I really like the packaging it's just really simple and easy um, and yeah so the link to this foundation and everything else that you guys need to know is going to be in the description box so really quickly I want to say hello to anybody that is new to my channel and please subscribe to my channel if you have not already so I hope you guys like my videos and if you guys want to see the wear test on this foundation and also how it applies then just keep watching okay so before I start to apply the foundation I'm going to read what the website says about the foundation just so you guys can kind of get a feel of what it says it's going to do um, and so I kind of know what to prepare for so on the actual Anastasia website it says a highly pigmented buildable cream formula that leaves a natural matte finish apply Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundation and as an all-over foundation sheared out as a tinted moisturizer or for highlighting and contouring um, it's available in 26 shades lightweight tubes are perfect for travel and on-the-go touch-ups ideal for combination and oily skin and there's a shade for all skin tones is what it says and it is $25 on their website I do not believe that this is available in stores yet um, I actually don't know when that release is but um, that's what it says. I did see on Norvina Snapchat that she suggests that if you have dry skin to go with the um, Makeup Forever HD Ultra Foundation Stick. So Norvina does suggest this one for dry skin. I have dry skin, but I like have to try out every single foundation. Um, I have dry skin, but I can wear foundations that are meant for oily skin. Um, so I still wanted to try this out. Um, and it has 9 grams of products in here. Or 0.32 ounces um, and I also got mine in the shade cool beige so what I'm gonna start by doing is I'm gonna apply a primer to this half of my face and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline master prime this is the blur and redness control I use this for like all my first impressions I'm just gonna apply this just on this half of my face and I'm just doing this so that I can see um, if the foundation is gonna last longer on this side of my face or if the foundation goes on smoother or what have you Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and start to apply this. So I'm not even really sure how I want to apply this. I think I'm going to try to buff it out with a Sigma Round Kabuki F82, but we'll see. I also have my Real Technique sponge here, but we're going to see. I'm just going to apply this on the face so it just looks really nice and sleek. So I'm just going to have a hair. I am just like kind of putting this on the face I don't know if that's too much or if that's too little okay so now that I have it kind of on my face I'm gonna take my f82 from Sigma and I'm just gonna start to blend this out Okay. 
Okay, so you guys can see the difference between this side of my face with the foundation and this side without. I would definitely say that it's like a light to medium coverage. I wouldn't say that with the amount that I put at least that it's a full coverage yet, but it does say that it's buildable, so I will build this in a minute. Um, but as far as like how it went on, it did blend really easily and smoothly. Um, it feels like a little bit thicker than the HD one. The HD from Makeup Forever does blend um, like a little bit smoother than this one this one blends really smoothly um, it's just like has like a little bit more like resistance because it is a little bit of a thicker product but I'm going to now put this on the other side of my face and just see how it blends and applies without a primer So I definitely feel like it um, blended out the same um, on both sides of my face. I don't really feel that either side really looks any differently. They both pretty much look the same for right now. And as far as the shade, I feel like Cool Beige was my perfect shade. I really feel like this was like a good option. And I just got this based off of Norvina's Snapchats um, and the pictures that they have on their Instagram. So if you guys are having a hard time figuring out your shade, go look at the pictures on the Anastasia. Stasia Beverly Hills Instagram and it'll really help you uh, pick out your shade because that's kind of how I guessed mine. So um, I'm going to put a little bit more of this on. I'm going to put another layer all over my face and we're going to see how buildable this is because that's like one of the first words it put in the description is that it's buildable. So we're going to see how buildable this is. Okay, so my thoughts right now, right after I put it on. Um, I think that it is a very light coverage foundation. Um, that's just my personal opinion for what I like. I think it's a light coverage foundation. Maybe if you didn't have so much redness or freckles, you would consider this as like a medium coverage. But in my opinion, I feel like it's a light coverage foundation. Um, but it is buildable. Um, and that's a good thing. Um, but the only negative to that is that if you were looking to have this foundation as an everyday foundation um, and you don't like a light coverage so you were looking to build it every day I don't know how long it would last you because I just find that with stick foundations in general they don't last as long as like a liquid or a cream would so that's the only downside is it may not last you as long just take that as like a little side note that if you don't like a light coverage foundation and you were looking to use this every day um, to build it into a medium to full coverage foundation you may not have this for very long so just keep that in mind um, you may have to repurchase this a lot so um, I do like the finish though I think that the finish looks really nice I do think that I was able to build it to a nice coverage and even after I started to build the foundation it doesn't really look thick and cakey on my face it feels really light it doesn't really feel like I've got a thick um, consistency foundation on my face which I really like so yeah um, as of right now I do like the way that it looks I feel like it's gonna look really good once I put my concealer and powder with it and if you guys can see in camera it looks pretty flawless so um, I am going to wear this throughout the day I am starting this a little bit later than I thought I was going to because I did not expect to receive this package until later today and it actually came this morning but I didn't realize it came till about like 45 minutes ago um, I was actually planning on filming this tomorrow so this is getting started a little bit later but that just means that I will keep the foundation on later tonight so don't worry about the, the wear I will keep this on longer for you guys since I'm starting this later on in the day but it is now 12.06 in the afternoon. Um, I'm going to wear this. I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and do some things throughout the day. And I will come back to update you guys in a couple of hours. Okay, you guys. So it is now 5.41 in the evening. It has been a total of almost six hours since I have put on this foundation. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am super impressed. 
Now, side note, if you guys see my highlight that is beaming, it is actually the Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights um, highlighter palette. So if you guys want to see the first impression and demo video on that, then go check that out. The link will be in the description so you guys can see my thoughts on that highlighter. I've been filming non-stop since I put this foundation on. So basically six hours straight, I've been filming so much. I've been under these hot lights and changing clothes and basically getting worked up and being like really warm. So I am so impressed with how this foundation has lasted throughout the day. I mean, personally, I think it looks really good in camera and I also just feel that it's lasted so well. Um, I know that Norvina said in her Snapchat that she thinks that this would be better for oily skin girls, but I have very dry skin and I actually am loving it so far. I don't think it's clinging to any of my dry patches. In fact, I do have a little bit of oils coming through like just in my T-zone right here, very mildly. And that does happen um, throughout the day under these hot lights. So a lot of times when I'm filming these videos, like um, it's quite normal for that to happen to me. And if you guys have watched my foundation first impressions before, I actually really like the way that that looks because my skin is so dry. It gives me like a dewiness that I love. So I don't really mind that. Um, it hasn't creased in any weird places. Um, and it hasn't faded at all either so so far it has lasted really well um still looks pretty much the exact same way as it did when i first put it on so i am really impressed so far i will probably update you guys one more time after this so you guys can see my final thoughts on this foundation and how it has lasted like a full day so i will see you guys in a couple of hours Okay, you guys, so it is now 9.05 at night, so I've had the foundation on for a total of nine hours now, and I am going to give you guys my final thoughts on this foundation. Um, so, first thing that I notice is I am actually, like, super shiny here in my forehead, if you guys can see that, and also down here on the sides of my nose. Um, and I have really dry skin. Um, this kind of confuses me a little bit because, um, like I said earlier, um, Norvina did say that this was more for oily skinned girls. So since I have dry skin, I am a little confused as to why I am getting so oily, why this foundation is making me get so oily because even like something like the L'Oreal Pro Glow, which is meant to make your face glow, um, that foundation didn't even make me this oily. I mean, this actually has a good amount of oil in the center of my forehead, like more than I actually want. And you guys know that I actually don't mind a little bit of um, oils coming through because it usually gives me like a really nice dewy glow that I like since I have dry skin but this is actually like I look oily so that is something to think about if you have oily skin and you want to get this foundation um, that is probably the biggest thing that I'm seeing right now but as far as the wear of this and if it's worn down anywhere or if it's faded anywhere um, I usually like to look down here because down here um, my foundation fades uh, easily for me and it actually has not worn down right here I'm gonna be honest um, I was a little nervous putting this on that this wasn't gonna last very long just the texture of it is so light um, which is a good thing um, but I was worried that because it was so light that it wasn't going to last long it was just going to fade very easily throughout the day um, but it actually doesn't it has honestly it looks good minus the little bit of oil that's in my forehead um, like the actual wear of it has lasted really really well um, and I actually like the wear of it a lot better than the Makeup Forever uh, Ultra HD stick um, I think that this actually doesn't last as long for me as I would like it to so comparing the wear to the Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick which is um, what Norvina recommended for dry skin girls. Um, I actually like the wear of the Anastasia one better. Um, the Makeup Forever for me, um, I personally don't feel uh, wears well at all, really. I don't think that it lasts that long. So as far as which one I would prefer, um, I would definitely choose the Anastasia one. I think that it just wears a lot better, and I actually like the finish of it better as well. Now, um, I can overlook the oils coming through. I can just pat those off with a tissue and put a little bit more powder on, and I'd be okay with that. Um, so just be aware of that, although I will say it was looking fine. 
um, up until about right now. And I've had this foundation on for nine hours, which is a really extended period of time, and you may not even have to have this foundation on for that long, but for the first, like, good seven to eight hours or so, this looked flawless and looked exactly the same way as it did um, when I first applied it. It has not really worn down anywhere. It hasn't creased. Like I said, um, the only difference that I see is the oils coming through in the center of the face. So with that being said, I highly recommend the Anastasia Stick Foundation. Once again, they have made an amazing product. Um, I am so impressed. I really like the way that this looks. Now, I will say this. This, I probably personally will either mix this foundation with another one so I'll either put a lighter coverage or medium coverage foundation underneath and then I'll add some of this on top and I also am thinking about ordering some more shades and using this one for my overall skin tone but also getting a lighter shade and um, some darker shades to more highlight and contour so that I won't be using only one stick to cover my whole entire face because I feel that if I mix a whole bunch of different shades together to to kind of highlight and contour I'll still get the coverage that I want so I won't run out of the product as fast so I think that that's what I'm gonna do with this product I don't think I'll wear it on its own that often although I do like the way that it wears on its own I'm just worried that um, if I wear it alone it's going to run out very quickly I do think I'll order a couple more shades and do think that I will wear all the shades together and just highlight and contour and then I'll be able to wear it on its own because I am really impressed with this foundation so I do really like this foundation I think it's well worth the $25 um, it is buildable it is really lightweight it doesn't feel heavy still on my face it really feels like I'm wearing nothing it just feels really great and besides the oiliness coming through I'm really impressed with the foundation I would definitely encourage you guys to try this foundation out if you've been wanting to um, I do know that Norvina was saying that people were hesitant to buy the foundation because one they didn't know the color and two they'd never had a foundation before so people were a little hesitant I am telling you from my experience that I would encourage everybody to at least try it even if you have dry skin because for me personally I have dry skin and it worked amazingly with my skin so yeah, I hope you guys like this first impression, review, demo, wear test video of the new Anastasia Stick foundation. Um, and let me know if you guys try it and let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below. I'm really interested to hear how other people like this. Now I have not seen any reviews on this whatsoever. I've actually not even seen a picture of anybody wearing this yet. Um, I ordered this literally the day that it came out. I actually haven't even seen any other big YouTubers talk about it like as receiving it as a PR package. So I really had no idea even what to expect with this. I'm just really curious to see everybody else's opinion on this foundation. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression video. Um, if you guys did like this video, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.